Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to the World of Battle Lost Sprint Cars 2002 Career Mode for Part Number 19. This is going to be kind of a new arc of this of this career mode and a journey of sorts. So we are finally in the main event, the World of Battle Lost Sprint Cars series. So I'm looking forward to it, just to see what we can do. So I got all this the the, the planning for the schedule thing off camera with the the list. So we're in every event. Make sure we check those off. There's really nothing else to look at, so I don't know what else to do other than just jump into it. But as always, a big shout out to my two YouTube Patreon people as well as my YouTube members for supporting our channel. Again, I really appreciate what you guys do, and welcome to the group of Dalton D. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being a part of all this. It's I very much appreciate it. So thank you. So yeah. Anyways, really got nothing to worry about the sprint car because we haven't done any races. There's nothing to repair. So. So that said, we're just gonna jump into it. I'm gonna do some practice and we'll talk a little bit about the sprint car because it does, you know, handle a good bit differently from other stuff. But yeah, we're going to Vegas. Let's just start off on a good note and not DNF like we did in the support series. As we'll get into qualifying here and as it loads, um, you'll be, it's it's definitely different, definitely different in how it drives. Um, it's just it's a little bit faster, and it's a little more slippery, slip, <laughs> slippery, slippity doos with it. But it's manageable, and once you kind of get a, a hang for it, it's it feels pretty nice. So um, I don't think we've ever raced here before at this track on this game, at least in the career mode. Maybe I did in like championship stuff off camera, and I'm just kind of messing around with the game. But yeah, so this is new, and we got a bunch of jumps and stuff, which you can I'm sure when I was younger playing this game, I I hit those and flew up in the air and all that good stuff. But yeah, um. I mean, we got everything maxed out on it, so it's going to be about the fastest as it can be. We just got to try to nail our lap times and just kind of you know, be smooth. Try not to counter steer too much, though it's kind of hard not to sometimes. But I think if you're really good at this game, you can almost turn that, that counter steer down to a, a minimum or almost non existent. But I'm not there yet. <laughs> Near through, I don't think I'll ever will be. But that's a 1501, which is pretty much exactly what I ran in practice, so that's adorable. And we'll see where that places us. And it's third. Okay. And how far off are we from everyone else? Okay, not too bad. And of course, we got the GOAT, Steve Kinser, who I know. That kind of rhyme, but... Some of these people I'm going to start to know and, and like, and all that stuff. So that, that is convenient. Heat 1 is 7 laps. Obviously, all these races are going to get longer. So probably 2 races an episode if I had to bet. But here we go. Green flag. And will the AI always do their turn one shenanigans? They did not. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. And I try to get by the two here. We did no problem. Now we gotta see if we can run down Kinzer or not. I'm, I'm not even really uh, sure if the inside line is the way to go here. Maybe the outside line would work. But I'm just too much of a chicken to try that out. White flag's out for the heat and really nothing too much has changed. I'm still behind them. Trying to catch him, but it's not really happening. So that is concerning, because usually they're a lot slower in the heat versus the dash. So uh, that's going to make this race very interesting. But, I mean, we're kind of reeling them in right there at the end. But I think lap traffic probably would have saved us. But So far, it looks like we're going to have competition. And I'm going to have to try. Which is very nice, because that almost hasn't happened in a very long time. We ran exactly the same lap time. Oh my god. We got heat laps in this one now, compared to the usual, I believe, six. And we're starting third. Yeah, I don't know if Vegas is just their program really well or what, but... Yeah, they're not doing that weird goofy thing in turn one, so... Yeah, this is going to make things a lot harder, and he's leading again. The ultimate legend badass Steve Kinzer, so... Of all people who I'm going to lose to, I guess, to him would be the most expected. <laughs> so, I don't know, but... Well, I guess we'll finish this one off in second again here, too. Oh my god, there's death. Oh, Kinzer just plowed right into him! <laughs> Steve Kinzer, the legend, just Arca braked it right into him, and I got right or left front tire damage, and I got the lead from that. And no yellow. No, there is a yellow. Okay, well... Can't, can't have a season start out with without death on the racetrack. That was just, that was just gross. 
But we got the lead, and I think that destroyed Kinzer, so he might start badly in the main, possibly. But, alright, well, this will be a simple win after all that craziness occurred. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> Our lead is extremely massive. I don't know what happened. Unless most of the field got damaged from that? I, I, I don't know. That was just really weird how that played out. We'll have to take a look at the results just to see what on earth happened back there. We won by 9 seconds. Okay, clearly something went wrong. Dale Blaney is somehow 28 seconds back. Oh, that's the total time. I'm. Yeah, why is he... How is he 28 seconds back when lap times are like 15 seconds? I, I don't know, but... We got Brooke in second, which could be a female's name, so I'm gonna pretend it's a female just for the sake of girl power. Same main time. I didn't even take time to repair the damage on the left front tire, but that's not the one of the most important wheels. So I'm hoping that's not gonna affect anything, but we are starting first. So that's nice. Let's see if we can actually maintain it. Because if we're just gonna leave the whole thing, that's gonna be pretty disappointing because it seems so promising in the heat. And it looks like we're gonna destroy the field, so uh I guess I should Yeah, it's music time. I didn't think it would, this would happen this soon, but it it has occurred. And we got twenty five laps too, so that's more laps uh that just need to need to complete. So that's another interesting difference from the support series. I cannot hit the pause button because for whatever reason on this game the pause button button is like it's very weak. I don't there. It's, I think I'd left a thrall for it. I don't I don't understand. Took a little bit, but catching lap traffic. About twelve lap, about halfway through. Still pulling away. Things are looking pretty nice. Just gotta be careful around these other cars, but shouldn't be too difficult, so yeah, there's a wing. <laughs> I just saw that there's a wing on Car low. Car low Jeez. Wow. <sighs> like, imagine the scenario to be put in. Don't fucking DNF AGAIN! I was just trying to ride the high side lane, try to do something just to keep me entertained, and then I fucking die. Just like I-55, because a random car just... Just had to try to slide jump me with their lap down, like, get out of the... What the... Oh my god, not again! Well, now I'm just always gonna... Die. Yeah. Now I'm always just gonna just be on the bottom no matter what. Like, just... I just, like, what do you want me to do, game? Like, what do you want me to fucking do there? Now my, now it's just gonna be a whole catch-up season where I have to try to make up ground the whole goddamn time. Because it's probably not gonna give me points for that, just like I-55. I fucking guarantee that shit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's just, now, now we gotta make up a, a whole fucking race worth of points. We have more races to do it, but that's just... Fucking Jesus, goddamn Christ, I hate that. Ugh! 6,500 for chassis. That's the max amount of damage we could do. The fact that we're even in this position is really, really fucking pisses me off. We should not should not have had that happen. Whatever. We'll just go into each race, win every single goddamn one, and we'll win the goddamn championship. So that's, the, that's what we're going to do. And that was a track championship, too, so we could have got a nice fancy trophy, but now we'll never fucking get it. I'm so mad we were put in this fucking position again. I messed up all those goddamn laps. Such bullshit. Jeez. I'm just. I'm. I'm, annoyed. I'm just. What do I say? What, what do I possibly say? It's just. It's just agony. Just. Just flat. Flat out. Good old fashioned agony. We're only not even two tenths off, so we should be fine. In the race. Just fucking. Just. I just. just I, oh, I'm so fucking annoyed. To be in that position again for something that wasn't even my fucking fault. It just it just stayed upside down. Just the universe just wants me to. It, it's like wants things to be interesting, but nobody cares about this series. So it's just like why just just get over with as soon as possible. Whatever. They didn't do the weird thing in turn one, so I guess maybe that's just a a thing. They don't do that in the main series. Whatever. We got the lead. We're fine. There, we got another win. I don't know why my AI did that, but we're only like a second and a half ahead of second, so... I don't know, something. We're starting second, and considering they don't do that dumb thing on the start anymore, we have to actually, you know, use racecraft skill. 
can get by them. Or we could just about to make the pass in a turn three. I didn't even mean to hit them, but. All right, well, I guess this track's just gonna be easy, which is fine with me. Good. I think we gained more. Yeah, our interval that time was bigger than the other one, so. Like the other series, the, what, the heat is more competitive than the dash? I don't, I don't know. Starting first in the main, which is good. 25 laps of this, just like the other event. I guess that's just how they're always going to be, unless we go to a shorter race, where it's just like 30, I guess. But Well, we got to the lead. I mean, we're already in the lead, but now we're clear. Things are looking good. At second place, try to do something there, but... Yeah, now we just got to be in, like, ultimate try-hard mode for the rest of the season. I mean, it's possible. We did it before in the Support Series with less, you know, with only, like, 14 races. So it's it's definitely possible to make that up, but... I don't know how much faster or more consistent the AI are, so it's hard to tell, but I don't know. But all we we can do now for, you know, for the rest of the season is just win, win, and win. Quick flags out, wasn't even paying attention, but as far as the battle for second place, I mean, it's been... Uh, they haven't pulled, I mean, I haven't pulled away to a crazy amount. They've been kind of somewhat keeping up with me, so that's nice. But yeah, we'll get a win. Did exactly what we need to when we went to this race. And now our journey begins to gain a full race point, point gap on Sammy Swindell, I believe. I'm not positive. I don't know if he's going to be the one to look out for. We gained a shit ton of money there, but yeah, he's second. So um, we only gained four points, but it's okay. We've got a long season. I'm always up for a comeback story, and we can always... We, I, mean, I, I mean, I'll take new sponsor off for sure. Uh, any, any interesting ones to look at? Um, I guess that's, okay, we got a couple of other ones, but they're cheaper than the one that we have currently. Well, that's weird. Uh, I don't know. Take a look at the points. So Sammy Swindell is, yeah, he's the one we got to look out for. We're still 16th in points out of the, I guess, top 24, I guess. So, I don't know. It's going to Bristol. That's Aldora. And destroy them there, too. Mm. And we'll see what this time is. It's slightly worse than our second laps. I don't know why our second lap's, like, the best, and then our third one's always worse. I don't know why that's always like that. Maybe there's some science behind it, but... We're fourth, 13-2 to a 1294, so... Maybe they'll be a little bit tougher in this one. I don't know. Starting second on the outside. Usually this would be an, an advantage, but... Not with this series, it seems like. Oh, they did the thing again, huh? All right, well that that makes it easy easy for us in this event. Dub by a lot, so yeah. Don't no no this don't just gonna keep destroying them. Starting second again, so we'll just wait for them to mess up turn one. Cause I know that's a thing. Hey, that's Mark Kinzer, and that's goodbye, Mark Kinzer. <laughs> yeah, another another typical dub. They were a little bit closer to me this time, so maybe that means something for the main event? I don't know. Starting first in the main, and that's a little bit concerning just because I know second place on the outside usually doesn't do that checkup, so I have to probably try for this for a couple laps. I still have the position. I'm not completely clear. Are we clear now? Yes, we are. Barely. But we're clear nonetheless, so... Alright, well, they... I mean, they tried. I don't know who's behind me, but they've been keeping up with me this entire race, even with lap traffic, so... I don't know if that's tryhard Sammy Swindell, or who that is exactly. I'm afraid to look behind me, but... Yeah, they're trying. They're they're keeping me on the edge of my seat. I gained two tens that lap, so... I don't know what happened there, but... Yeah, he's been just 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 lurking. Just, keep, just you know, making me anxious. Oh my god, the rat bag car just... That's my fault, but like... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Again, with just... That's my... That's actually my fault, but it's just... I should've just went to the inside again. I don't know why I kept going to the outside. It's just... Why do I Why do I keep choking these races away? I don't know if that was Sammy Swindell up there. That's actually Steve Kinsley, so... I'm not getting points on him still, but... Yeah, that's another track championship. Just completely choked away. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I want to die. I, I just, it's just, it's just agony. It's just, it's just agony right now. I, I hate it. 
Oh, I don't even know what to say. Oh, that's cute. We got Steve Kinster and then Stevie Smith, so that's that's adorable. Well, we gain we still gain points on Sammy Swindell, so that's good. But it's just How? the rag bat the <laughs> the rat bag car was so slow in that one. I don't know why. I don't know. I, oh God. All right. Well, got Quaker. Oh, we got Quaker State and Pennzoil. Ooh. I'm looking forward to getting one of those after. <laughs> after that contract expires. Now Steve Kinzer's the point leader, so uh, we lost points technically. That's the 294, so we are 144 back. I oh god. This is gonna be if we lose the champion if this series gets prolonged anymore. I mean, it's just going to continue to be the worst performing series I've ever done in my life. <laughs> like, I just want to get this series over with so I can move on to something else that people care about. I don't want to do another season. As expected, we did get some kind of damage with that lap traffic incident. Well, yeah, I guess if it's not a track championship, I just will never win it, apparently. So, I don't know. It's just it's very annoying. Maybe I'll do, like, another, like, I don't know, we got Bristol. Usually that's a shit show, but last time we were there was actually great, so who who knows? We might get more comedy hijinks here, too. Through three and four, our second lap was a 1345. This one will be shockingly faster than our second lap. Well, that's kind of impressive. And we'll see what that places us, but I, <laughs> I want to destroy the field. And we're, like, 99% of the way doing that, but then... I don't even know what I got. Ah, okay, it's pull. Okay, well, maybe this race will be easy. <laughs> Starting first, which means, like usual, they're just not going to do that weird thing in turn one with how they... Ow! The the Gibbs font 20 car hit me, so that's um, it's a bit of a problem. But we did lose the lead from all that. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe they will be competitive in this race. I don't know, but he really botched that corner, and we got the lead, so hooray! <laughs> to be fair... I was going to say they were pretty close to me, but, you know, 1.3 is not bad. But I don't know. It's, it's looking promising so far, but I, I said that the last race, so anything really goofy could happen. Just like the heat, I'm sure second place will pass me here on the start, and we've got to try to reel them back in. I don't know who that one car is, but they like to send it a lot. Oh, oh, sorry, Mark. Oh, I... I don't want to talk about it. And that's another kind of typical win. And we went by two seconds, so that was bigger than the heat. So, uh, again, I mean, this is all promising, but I'm... I, I just know something something stupid's going to happen. It's Bristol. It's tip... Okay, that's Andy Hillenberg in the one, I guess. So now I know that, but Sammy Swindell's having a bad run. So hooray, but Kendra's up there, so oh no. 25 laps for the main as usual. I guess Hillenberg's in the two, not the one, so I'm... Getting everything confused. And just gotta, yeah, we were lucky to not get obliterated there by Mark, but you know, that might be karma for, for what I did to him. So honestly, it's it's fair. That was a little bit of contact, but we in the lead. Just pull away. And for the love of God, do not hit lap traffic anymore. That is death. That is right. <laughs> um I don't know if anyone hit him, but that <laughs> That looked really painful. I guess we'll never know, but... Oh, look at look at Hillenberg trying. I, I mean, I appreciate it, but it just... It wasn't enough. Oh, my God. What? There was, the, <laughs> there was an even bigger wreck in that corner. You know, it's nice to be, a, be not on the bad end of the Bristol shit show. It's nice to see the AI be having, uh, having problems. But yeah, well, this this Hillenberg person, I guess Steven Hillenberg's brother, um, yeah, he he's a uh, he's very competitive. Point flags out, and really, other than a couple of AI yellows, our race, from our perspective, has been really good. So, we'll win two out of the four races in this part. I don't know if every episode's gonna have four races, but maybe three is is possible. But yeah, that was. 
that was pretty straightforward, all things considered. And now we'll see where Steve Kinzer finished and see if we gain any points on him. I don't know if he got second or not. Okay. Damn good money there. Jeez. Okay, so Steve got fifth, so that's what, four, six, eight, ten points, but I don't know if I, I don't know, Hillenberg and Kinzer are close, so, Swindell are, so I don't, I don't know, we'll have to take a look at the points and see if we gain anything substantial. No, our current, okay, yeah, I forgot our current thing expired. So now we get to add, oh, we got 4350 for Little Trees. That actually weirdly works with the card pretty well because our car has a little bit of yellow and it looks like the little trees like things I don't know, it actually works perfectly that blends it with the scheme we're gonna go with it I mean it obviously it pays the best but it works well with the car so screw it we'll, we'll throw it on there so finally we are in the first page Sammy Swindell has taken over the point leads so that's 580 minus 444 so 136 we actually did gain a little bit of points well six points but we're getting there it's going to be a long season in terms of just gaining points. We should have won four races. We should have swept this entire season thus far, but we just kept screwing it up. One was really not my fault. The other one was. But either way, we're going to wrap this part up because, uh, yeah. But now that I know I can probably do more races, that means we can end this series quicker. So that, that's technically a good thing. So, Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out my two three Patreon supporters at Dan Reynolds Comic House of Games. Dave Vern, Champ 15, Ask Him Recite, Dot Org, Billy Carrier, Golf Kill 100, Emil Bibbs, Sir Mansky Link 19, 6, Mark Harmon, and Akbar Fan 5556 5, 5, for support again. I really appreciate what you guys do for the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot. And as always, it does go a long ways. So I very much appreciate it, and it's just, 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 just good old fashioned badassery. And I'll see you on the next episode for, uh, I guess, more racing. And we'll do races, what, 5, 6, and 7? So. Yeah, now, now our goal for the rest of the season is just play catch-up, which should be possible, but if Swindell or Kinzer keep running really good, maybe it'll be harder to catch up. I, I don't know, because I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. But either way, I'll do it for me. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.